Hi, everybody. This is Yashika from Yashika's Intuition, and we are here kicking off season two of the podcast. I am so excited today because we have a special guest with us today. Who's that? The guest oh. today is Gregory. Gregory is my husband. That's me. That's me. And we invited him on for the first episode of season two because we did a podcast episode in mm -hmm. season one mm -hmm. and it was super, super popular. Mm -hmm. And because of that popularity, I figured mm. you could just help me kick off season okay. two. Okay, why not? So thank you for being here You're today. You're welcome. I came, um, traveled a long way. You traveled from <laughs> upstairs. Um, one flight. If you haven't already, Upstairs. before we get started with this episode, we would love it if you would make sure that you go and make yourself a tasty drink. We did a video to kick off the launch of the season two podcast. So make sure you make a drink, mm -hmm. check out what we're drinking, <laughs> and we would love it if you would subscribe to show support for the podcast. Today, we are going to be talking about two hot topics because mm -hmm. we wanted to see how Greg feels about what's going on. Oh boy. And the two hot topics that we're going to be talking about are just a few things about the coronavirus as well as a few things about the racial profiling, tension, protests that have been going on in our country today. We're going to try to keep it light, though. We want to bring a uh, serious note to it but we also don't want you to come here and be triggered we want this to be a space where we are having fun and enjoying mm -hmm. ourselves for those of you that don't know gregory he is a chief operating officer of a luxury apothecary brand yeah. so i'll leave information in the show notes for you to take a look at what gregory is very heavily involved right. in but without further in my ado forum no 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 okay but without further ado, we are going to get into this podcast. Oh, Welcome, hey, Greg. Hey. How are you doing? Good, good. Glad to be here. You are. Thank mm -hmm. you for coming. You Thank bet. you for showing mm -hmm. up to support. Thanks for the invite. Tuition. I appreciate it. Normally, we talk a lot about personal mastery uh -huh. for women, but we have invited you onto the platform, Thank and we're you. just going to go over some issues and see how you feel about them. Okay. All right. So I have some questions prepared for you. And my first question for you is, what has been the biggest surprise about me that hmm. you've discovered <laughs> since you've hmm. had to be locked down with me since, since here. it was it's since March? I know. Yeah. Yeah. Because oh, I man. actually got sick, you guys. Not COVID sick, but I got sick. So I have been locked down since like mid March, Pro yeah. March 11th yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Got a light cold. Yeah. Got thank the good was, Lord. Yeah. Thank the good yeah, Lord, right? Yeah. Cuz then I didn't have to be out in it. Yeah. Yeah. And I was immune to it. Yeah. Um as always. Yeah. Got good uh immunity. Anyway, uh, biggest surprise, I would say your let's see. There you know, there's not a lot of surprises. I think I already knew about you or you're a learner. So mm -hmm. maybe it surprised me how much you would rather <laughs> be, learning. be learning than playing. Some people work hard, play hard. Mm -hmm. You work hard, you play. Like, you play. Not, play. <laughs> not you at play. all. You play. Okay. No, all no, right. you play hard too, but you work harder and, yeah. and you like to read. Like, I mean, yeah. So that, I don't know if that was a surprise, but just to witness it uh, day after day is kind of, kind of cool you yeah. know or whatever what i mean it's it's <laughs> it enlightening okay it's okay it's is it fun has it been fun being locked down uh yeah 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 it has what's it's been, been the, sh the biggest struggle with well i'm in? still getting to the surprise the real surprise oh what's the real surprise so the real surprise was the your dishwasher loading oh skills. my gosh i forgot about that hey. so she's perfect in many ways many many ways superior to me in a lot no. but dishwasher loading skills mm, a little lacking hey My, little so, bit so first of all guys not, i mean let mm. me let me just talk to you for a second a little rough so greg is under the impression that we still live in 1980 and that the dishwasher Mayday. only has a sprayer on the bottom we have a more current dishwasher from the 21st century that has sprayers on the top and bottom. I have not seen so therefore, your dishwasher loading <laughs> skills can evolve 
mm. with the times. Mm. Yeah. But if you learn at a certain level, such as, you know, I did with the <laughs> conventional <laughs> yes. one sprayer, I have a hard time going back. It's Which not going back, yours, it's going um, forward. And I'm not saying yours doesn't get clean. <laughs> it's going forward. Usually it does. <laughs> Whatever. But I think, though, it's been good. Maybe it's been surprising how we do little tiny things different. And yeah. that was just one of them. And, you know, yeah, I'm happy to teach you one small thing. And maybe I think you've learned something from me. What? How to load a dishwasher a little better? <laughs> a little better. Yeah, I just you do can it admit to, that. I just do it so that you don't get annoyed. Okay. But if you are but here, even, I would still do it pile. the same way. Okay. Um, anyway. So I was going to ask you mm. what is one annoyance, but it sounds like that is also an annoyance for you as well. It's a real... No, no, it's, it doesn't bother me that yeah. bad. Um, just 90% of the time. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so, annoyance? No, you're pretty... It's the easy. You already you're told easy us. going. You already told us. Yeah, you, yeah. You keep your head in the book and learn and yeah. The, so the easy thing about us is that we don't have kids, and so we can kind of spread out when we want to spread out, and then come back together. When yeah, we, we can come choose. back together, and we're both similar in that we are needing our alone time, and we respect mm-hmm. that. But then we come together when we want to come together. Yeah. So easy. I think that we're very easy in that way. Not only what surprised me about you is quite similar. Um, so Greg is currently enrolled in college, getting his degree, and I didn't know he was such a nerd. Like he just said that all I do is learn, but I'm not like a nerd learn. Not like he's nerd. like doing homework Mm-mm. seven days a week, trying to get ahead, that's what it trying requires. to do all this stuff. I mean, that that's like team too much. I don't do that. I work smarter. I'm not about to be sitting there doing homework. Every, I do like what the homework calls for. So that and it, might I add, it calls for too much. <laughs> yeah, it does. School got school seemed to get too crazier much. once COVID hit. They yeah. didn't give us no grace. They didn't. I mean, it was a mess. Yeah. So that's the, so one thing that surprised me. Okay. Annoyances. None. You, he makes a lot of noises, like a lot <sighs> of like. Um, so we have our drinks here that we made, and so yeah. sorry for those I of like, you that are listening instead of watching. He goes. <sighs> sorry, I'll be annoying. <laughs> I like to taste it. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't even do anything. But you're right. To, yeah, I've noticed so, that, but and you know I can work on no, that. No, no, you don't have to. But I do like to taste. I accept you for who you are. However, yeah. I don't. Do. If I don't breathe after my drink, uh-huh. I don't know what it tastes like. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he's very, he's very particular. I've noticed that as well. You gotta it's, be. It's a lot worse than I thought it was, but it's okay. Mm-hmm. We accept each other. We are right. We're doing okay. All right, so let us know what your spouses or kids, what you've learned, what's mm-hmm. annoying about it. Leave us a comment. Yeah, what do they do that Yeah. you thought they might be better yeah, at? Yeah, do you want to kill them? Are you guys doing good or not? Uh, you know, things are starting to live, so you have more perspective on mm-hmm. that. So we will move on to question number two that I have for you. This is a little testier topic <laughs> since obviously if you are watching us, you can see that we are an interracial couple. Um, how do we approach the topic of race in our home? I think. Are you asking me? I'm asking you. Okay. That's the question for sure. you. How do we approach the topic of race in our home, Greg? I would say we approach it very openly. We communicate because we both come from different parts of the country, obviously different races, but we have very similar, once we talk about our mm-hmm. upbringings are, yeah. I mean, we basically grew up the same. Yes. Same set of values. You know, parents for the most part. It's very similar. Yeah. Very it's sim- like we grew up pretty the same, even though we're different and in different races. Yeah. So I think in finding that out, and I think that's the majority of people that mm-hmm. we're all the same yeah. in a lot of ways, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I think for it's, us, it's more about like openly communicating and I know a lot of people do not understand this, especially if there's a lot of personal trauma around the issue of race. But if you Mm -hmm. are in a relationship where you're growing and evolving and just trying to be better people, race is rarely an issue and Greg i never and I, think yeah yeah I never we really like think to focus it. on deeper issues but that doesn't mean that we don't have the conversations 
I was, I'm the only person of color now in your whole family, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. And Greg is the <laughs> only white person that I've ever dated. Mm -hmm. He has dated different cultures mm -hmm. and ethnicities. So he actually is more experienced in that arena than I am. But we did have a, a talk about it before we got married. So I think it's just important to recognize differences, give each other grace and space when we are going through things that are difficult and traumatic and I may feel differently than you have, yeah. you are, and then just allow each other space for that open communication. And it is good to learn, even though we may have grown up similar or really ultimately yeah. you're, it's not that far off, yeah. that different you might have a different perspective on something than yeah you, you know and he does notice little things too that i experienced that he may not experience so mm -hmm. it's not like we're being blind to it or immune to it but i think that if you are in a relationship where you are evolving and growing and being better people you are always having these conversations anyway and if you're not you should be having them no matter what race you are yeah. and then we just grow from there if you are working on being a conscious person and a holistic person you inherently are accepting of all people and living life consciously and that's what we do here mm -hmm, mm -hmm, at this house mm -hmm. everybody's welcome yes <laughs> if you're sane all right all right question number three you ready i am what, what do you got? has been the biggest failure in all of this and why? And when I'm asking you about failure, I think that we both, like we have just mentioned, have had a lot of candid and honest discussions about the things we've been going through with the COVID and the things that we've been going through with the race. Yeah. And we've had some frustrations that we have talked to each other about. So just as a collective, as a society, what has been the biggest failure in all this and why as far as what's been going on lately i'd say maybe the misinformation yeah. that is out there oh my God, and what bad. people soak up they easily soak up what they're told yeah so it's crazy there's no fact finding for themselves right you know it's surprising to see and maybe it's not the majority of people but just i don't know it's just to see that people are easy to latch on to a cause that has never been theirs or maybe they don't know a lot about right but they're eager to jump on that that cause right i think that we get caught up in our feelings a lot. And for those of you that have followed me and listened to me for a long time, I feel like feelings are not always factual. Emotions are not always factual. And sometimes when you don't take a step back and really assess what is going on in a logical point of view yeah. instead of a subjective <clears throat> point of view, you often miss key facts. And so it's been really fascinating to see how as a society, we believe what we are fed so quickly mm -hmm. and that pendulum swings so quickly so, quick. so immediately that you end up standing for a cause that is not even your own and then to see also we're so concerned about say the the COVID-19 thing one week and then that can be totally erased and we've seen it throughout the history or in the last yeah. few decades of news where the cycle of people's attention span is is shorter and shorter so the news portrays right. that you're you want some they're sick of covering one thing yeah. so whatever it is they want to move on to the next thing even though that other thing isn't gone yet was that even real right you know? i think we have a lot of truth seeking to do and we do have a lot of important issues that we need to address and we do have a long way to go in the way that we operate as a country but i think on the whole i have a metaphor so where we miss the mark is often like a health problem mm -hmm. we will go to the doctor when we have a symptom such as high blood pressure and mm -hmm. what we want is a pill to cure the high blood pressure rather than alleviating the causes of the high blood pressure and i see that happening on the collective as a whole yeah to me <clears throat> the race is a symptom um, COVID is a whole nother issue, but instead of focusing on the symptom and giving the symptom appeal, what is the root cause behind all this? And I think that that's how we miss the mark as a society. And so that's been probably the most frustrating thing. Yeah. Me. Yeah. All right. So what are we on now? Question number four. Now that we have started off a very crazy year, mm. 
and we're we got a whole another whole another uh, half a year to go. Twenty twenty, yeah. What are you most curious about right now? Hmm. I think with every disaster or crisis, there's good things that come out of it. So maybe I'm curious to see what what good comes of these really these two crises that have happened in the last couple weeks or a couple months so maybe to see the inventions or the ideas that come out of it and we've already seen something some things have been exposed like zoom you know nobody thought six months ago we'd be using zoom as much as we are and now here's that has come together and I'm sure they've had to make changes to their platform. It'll be interesting to see what comes out of all this, you know, in the next six months or whatever it might be concerning both uh, things going on right now, that there's going to be good things. Okay. I think that for me, what I'm most curious about right now, and I just, we went on a walk earlier this morning and I said, even though I didn't partake in it, I want the drive through alcohol <laughs> Oh, I love that. Adult juice boxes <laughs> and all that. Oh, why crazy. why couldn't we have that anyway? all the time? Yeah. yeah so why not? that's that's what I want to continue. I yeah. want us to be able You're to, curious to see if I want it to continue. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't want that to change. I yeah. want to see if we keep that going, keep that mm-hmm. train going. Because so. it doesn't <laughs> Hey. You know? It doesn't seem and to be hurting alcohol anybody. Delivery, like why not? Hello. Why not? Why not? I don't see it. It didn't hurt anybody. No. There we go. Everybody's been fine, right? Yeah. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) And this is my last question. I'm so sad that it's going to be over. Okay. So I want to end on a good note. Mm -hmm. And I would like to ask you to end the podcast. What inspires you most right now? Okay. What is <laughs> rare? Okay, you got you got you got real serious right there. What is? <laughs> I was gonna say you because you do. Oh. So I, and I don't want it to be like, man, I'm just yeah. saying you because you know you're my wife and, but you do <laughs> inspire oh, me. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> so yeah, I'd say you are probably the most because I'm around you now, twenty four seven. Yeah. Your dishwasher skills don't inspire me, <laughs> but. Later. Anyway, you do inspire me with your work ethic, your learning. I've learned a lot from you. I'd say you inspire me. Oh. The good things that you do see coming out of bad are inspirational. So you can always find the good in, in something. That's, yeah. yeah. It brings me back to, you know, 9-11. There was yeah. good things that came out of that. Yeah. It was a terrible tragedy. It's, I mean, you, you know, know, it's unfortunate we have to learn from we're so hard headed that we have to learn from tragedy, but I feel like if we step away from the exaggerations and the hyperboles mm-hmm. of what people use nowadays to incite emotion and fear and anxiety, I think if we look at again the objective information, we can see that progress is being made. Of course, we have more to do and we have further further to go. But I, I think we now see a little bit more about where we had our blinders on. And There's we ex- can, things exposed. Yeah, we right. can progress There's, as mm-hmm, a whole. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. whenever things are exposed, obviously, you can see them. You can see <laughs> them. The question is, what are you going to do with them? Mm. And I'm not <laughs> impressed with what most of y'all have been doing so far. But that's a whole other podcast this year. Anyway, so, Greg, mm-hmm. I already told everybody where they can find you. So mm-hmm. I'll leave, again, his link in the show notes about his luxury, sophisticated apothecary brand that is going to be launching in the fall. Yeah. Anything else that you want to say or do or whatever? No, no. just stay... Stay safe. Stay, safe. Stay, <laughs> stay classy. Stay educated. Stay edu- Oh, like That's for real something. educated. Right. Not like I, fake educated. Yeah. Like educate yourself. Go de- dig. Go dig. Dig. Deep. Dig. There's more to the story. What's your favorite resource for people that really want to know some truth? Well, get, Google. Get truth and knowledge. No, I'm just kidding. What's the, there's a book that you're reading um, that has some really good truth and knowledge well, in it. Well, it's the... The, my history that I'm reading? Yeah, the book that you're reading. He's been reading this book, and then, Greg, what book are you reading? Well, uh, it's nothing. Very Typical guy, typical guy. 
it's what's the book. Well, I don't remember the title. It's it's basically the the the, the a history. People's history. The people's. Thank you. <laughs> I know what he's reading. I'm not even reading it. A people's history. So it's the history of America, and it goes back to say the revolution. But it's a repeat. I mean, history just obviously it repeats itself. Yeah. But a lot of what's happened throughout history is going on now. Or is a result of yeah. what happened then. Yeah, it's a so, chain reaction. Um, yeah. But it, I think it's, it's a spiral. I don't think it's a circle. I think no matter what people want you to believe, we are evolving. We are growing. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Because we went to go like look at a, what was like a pioneer sculpture. Monument. And yeah. like, and you could just see, like, if I had to do that pioneer work today, long, like, I'm not doing that. I want to be at home. I want to be on my internet, watching my Netflix. Yeah. I'm not pushing no wagon. And for I'm people to say we started. haven't come far, we haven't progressed is is it's it's asinine. Not, it's and not, it's not a fact. Hashtag um, not facts. Are there atrocities or whatever going on still, or, or yeah, are there, there is. things that um, you know we don't yeah. agree with? But yeah, we've there's been a lot of good. Too. There's been a lot of good. So, All right, so stay positive. On that note, That's my other one. Oh, stay positive. So stay sure. positive and stay okay. safe and stay remember. educated. And we classy. Got it. Write those down, everybody. Classy. And stay classy. Thank you. All right. All right. So as I close out the podcast, remember to support us. Share it with your friends. Let us know how you think about it. How are you struggling? Maybe give us some thoughts on your questions and concerns and comments on what we were talking about. And also make sure that you subscribe. Go look back at the previous episodes. Make sure if there's something you want to listen to, Download it, listen to it in your car, do whatever you need to do to support us, and we will be back in two weeks. Podcasts are released every other Tuesday for season two. Okay. So. I like it. All right. So All right. thanks, guys. See ya. Bye. Bye.